welcome you in the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation it is 34th lecture of this series in the previous lecture we have uh, discussed about rao blackwell lehman safi uh, theorem and uh, neyman fisher factorization theorem with vector parameters to find mvu in this lecture we will discuss about best linear unbiased estimator blue and the outline of this lecture are definition of blue finding the blue and gauss markov theorem and in the objective of this lecture you will able to explain what is blue and how can you find out the blue and what is the gauss markov theorem now we will start with the introduction in many estimation problems the mvue or the sufficient statistic cannot be found or the pdf of the data is itself unknown or only the second order statistic are known in the sense that they can be estimated from the data in such cases one solution is to assume a function model of the estimator to be linear in data and find the linear estimator which is unbiased and has minimum variance this estimator is known as a best linear unbiased estimator which can be determined with the knowledge of only the first and second moment of the pdf and since the complete knowledge of the pdf is not necessary uh, not necessary in the blue so it is frequently suitable for the uh, practical implementation so blue is based on linear estimator now the definition of the blue we observe the data set x not x1 to xn minus 1 whose pdf px theta depend on the unknown parameter theta uh, the blue restricts the estimator to the uh, to be linear in data or we can say that theta cap is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an xn where ans are the uh, constant which are to be determined depending on the ans chosen we may generate a large number of different estimators of theta the best estimator or blue is defined to be one that is unbiased and has minimum variance so we have to determine ans that gives blue the blue will be optimal only when the mvue estimator turns out to be linear you know in uh, in the problem of estimating the value of a dc level in white gaussian noise the mvue is the sample mean this means uh, theta cap is equal to x bar and it is sample mean 1 by n summation n0 to n minus 1 xn which is linear in data for some estimation problem the use of blue can be totally inappropriate let uh, the estimation of the power in white gaussian noise and uh, this means uh, sigma square cap is equal to some uh, 1 by n summation n0 to n minus 1 x square n which is non linear in data and if we focus the estimator to be linear then sigma square cap it will be equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an xn and the expected value of the estimator it will be uh, equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an and the expected value of xn and it is zero since expected value of xn is zero for all n we cannot find a single linear estimator that is unbiased uh, that one has the minimum variance although the blue is unsuitable a blue utilize the transform data y is equal to x square n and would produce the estimator sigma square cap is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an yn and it will be equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an x square n the unbiased constraints gives sigma expected value of sigma square it is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an sigma square and it is equal to sigma square there are many values of ans that satisfy this constraints so uh, can you Uh, guess what the an should be to give blue now we will uh, discuss the uh, discuss the finding of uh, blue consider a general parameter theta the estimator is required to be linear function of the data this means theta cap is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 an xn and 
the expected value of theta cap it is equal to summation m0 to n minus 1 a n and expected value of x n is equal to theta because the estimator should be unbiased the variance of theta cap it is equal to the expected value of the whole square of the term summation n0 to n minus 1 a n x n minus the expected value of summation n0 to n minus 1 a n x n and let a is equal to transpose of a a note a1 to a n minus 1 now the variance of theta cap it will be equal to the expected value of the whole square of a transpose x minus a transpose expected value of x and it will be equal to the expected value of the whole square of a transpose into x minus expected value of x and it will be equal to expected value of a transpose into x minus e x into x minus e x transpose into a and it will be equal to a transpose c a w is dragged by finding the a which minimize this value a a transpose c a as subject to the constraint e theta cap is equal to theta in order to satisfy the unbiased constraint e x n must be linear in theta this means expected value of x n a it must be s n into theta where s n's are known otherwise it may not possible to satisfy the constraint and for example x n is equal to s n theta plus omega n so the blue is applicable to the amplitude estimation of the known signal in noise and the, and the expected value of theta cap it is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 a n and expected value of x n it is theta and because the expected value of theta cap is the true value for the unbiased constraint so i can write it as summation n0 to n minus 1 a n s n theta is equal to theta and it will be summation uh, n0 to n minus 1 a n s n is equal to a so i can write it as a transpose s is equal to a uh, this means a transpose s is equal to a where s is equal to transpose of the s note s1 to s n minus 1 and from this we will get optimal value of a it will be c inverse s divided by s transpose c inverse s and the blue of theta it will be theta cap is equal to s transpose c inverse x divided by s transpose c inverse s and the covariance of uh, theta cap it will be 1 by s transpose c inverse s and the expected value of theta cap it will be s transpose c inverse expected value of x divided by s transpose c inverse s and uh, you know the expected value of x it is theta s so it will be s transpose c inverse theta s divided by s transpose c inverse s and it will be equal to theta so only to determine the blue we require the knowledge only of s or the scaled mean c the covariance or the first two moments but not the entire pdf and some properties of blue are uh, for the general linear model the blue is identical uh, in the form of the mvue and second the blue assumes only uh, up to second order statistic not the complete pdf of the data unlike the mvue which was derived assuming the gaussian pdf and third one is if the data is truly gaussian then blue is also the mvue let us consider one example let x x is equal to a plus omega n where small n is from 0 to n minus 1 where omega n is the white gaussian noise process with variance sigma square with unspecified pdf then estimate a since you know omega n is not necessarily gaussian the noise samples may be uh, statistically dependent even though uh, they are uh, uncorrelated so because because expected value of xn is equal to a then sn is equal to a because from the previous we know the expected value of xn is equal to sn into theta so we have sn is equal to 1 and from this we will have s is equal to 1 and the blue of a it will be a cap is equal to s transpose c inverse x divided by s transpose c inverse s and it will be equal to 1 transpose 1 by sigma square uh, identity matrix into x divided by 1 transpose 1 by sigma square identity matrix into 1 
and it will be equal to 1 by n summation n0 to n minus 1 xn and it, it is the uh, sample mean means x bar and the variance of a cap it will be 1 by uh, 1 transpose 1 by sigma square into 1 and it is equal to sigma square by n so the sample mean is the blue independent of the pdf of the data so also it is the mvu estimator for the gaussian noise let us consider another example xn is equal to a plus omega n where a small n is from 0 to n minus 1 where omega n is 0 mean uncorrelated noise with variance uh, sigma n square estimate a uh, from previous you know s is equal to 1 and uh, a cap is equal to 1 transpose c inverse x divided by 1 transpose c inverse 1 and the variance of a cap is equal to 1 by 1 transpose c inverse 1 and it is from the previous example and the covariance matrix c it will be a uh, non-zero elements on the diagonal so it is sigma naught square sigma 1 square up to sigma n minus 1 square and its inverse will be simply uh, the non-element non non-zero element on the diagonal 1 by sigma naught square 1 by sigma 1 square uh, up to 1 by uh, sigma n minus 1 square and a cap is uh, from here we have a cap is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 xn by sigma n square divided by summation n0 to n minus 1 1 by sigma n square and uh, this uh, denominator is the uh, scale factor needed to be uh, to make estimator unbiased and the variance of a it will be 1 by 1 by summation, uh, summation n0 to n minus 1 1 by sigma n square the blue weights those samples most heavily with the smallest variance in an uh, in an attempt to equalize the noise contribution from uh, each samples in, in general the presence of c inverse in the blue acts to be pre whitened the the data prior to the averaging so also we can say that for estimation of the parameters of the linear model the blue is identical to the mvue estimator for the gaussian noise now the extension of the vector parameter if uh, the parameter to be estimated is uh, p is to one vector parameter then for the estimator to be linear in the data we require i uh, theta i cap is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 a i n x n and where i is from 1 to p here a n is the weighting coefficient and in matrix form i can write it as theta cap is equal to a x where a is p is to n matrix and in order for theta cap to be unbiased we require expected value of i theta cap it will be summation n0 to n minus 1 a i n expected value of x n is equal to theta i where i is from 1 to p uh, and in matrix form expected value of uh, theta cap it will be a uh, expected value of x and it is uh, theta and here ex is equal to h theta where h is the uh, n is to p matrix of s naught s1 to sn minus 1 so we can write it as a h is equal to inverse uh, identity matrix for this uh, you can uh, show that uh, theta cap is equal to inverse of the uh, matrix of h transpose c inverse h into h transpose c inverse x and the covariance of theta cap it is equal to inverse of the matrix h transpose c inverse h and you can uh, find out the proof of this of these in the book smk you can go for this book for the proof and now the theorem goes markov theorem if, if the data are of general linear model form x is equal to h theta plus omega where h is n is to p matrix theta is p is to one vector of parameter to be estimated omega is n is to one noise vector with mean zero and covariance c then the blue of uh, theta it will be theta cap is equal to inverse of the matrix h transpose c inverse h into h transpose c inverse x and the minimum uh, variance of theta i cap it will be inverse of matrix h transpose c inverse h and the covariance matrix of theta cap 
it will be inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H. Now let us take one example. So that the blue commutes over linear transformation. So if we wish to estimate alpha is equal to B theta plus small b where uh, capital B is a non P is to P uh, invertible matrix and uh, B is uh, a non P is to one vector then prove that blue is given by alpha cap is equal to b theta cap plus b where theta cap is the blue of theta and let x is equal to h theta plus omega where expected value of omega is 0 and the expected value of omega omega transpose is covariance matrix c mm. Since you know the blue of uh, theta is theta cap is equal to inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H into H transpose C inverse X and the covariance is inverse of that matrix H transpose C inverse H and this is uh, the minimum covariance matrix. If B is invertible we will have theta is equal to B inverse alpha minus B and then X will be equal to H B inverse alpha minus b plus omega or I can write it as x is equal to h b inverse alpha minus h b inverse b plus omega or I can write it as x plus h b inverse b is equal to h b inverse alpha plus omega and if and if I assume that uh, this part is x dash and uh, this part is h dash so I can write linear uh, linear model as x dash is equal to h dash plus omega then, then alpha cap will be inverse of the matrix h dash transpose c inverse h dash into h dash transpose c inverse x dash or I can write it, it as inverse of the matrix b inverse transpose minus h transpose c inverse h b inverse into h b inverse transpose c h transpose c inverse into matrix H X plus H B inverse B or I can write it as B into inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H into H transpose C inverse into the matrix X plus H B inverse B or you can write it as B theta cap plus B B inverse B and finally we can write this as B theta cap plus B uh, this shows that in case of linear transformation of the parameter, the blue of the transform parameter could be obtained by simply applying the same linear transformation to the blue of the original parameter. So far in this lecture, we have discussed about the best linear unbiased estimator, blue. This was 34th lecture of the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation. In the next lecture we will discuss about maximum likelihood estimator MLE which is most powerful approach for obtaining the practical estimator. The MLE approach is desirable in situation where the MVUE does not exist or cannot be found even though it does exist and we will discuss all about in the next lecture. Till then, thanks for listening to this lecture. Thank you.